Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your Rico copier to scan to a shared folder on your computer. So this, uh, the steps on this tutorial can work pretty much on any Rico model. I'm going to be using a Rico MPC 5503, but it, again, it doesn't matter which model you have. Uh, the steps should be pretty similar on all the machines. Uh, so first off, you need to gather uh, a few pieces of information. I made a list of what needs to be gathered. First off, you need to know what your IP address of your copier is. So of course, that means you have to assign your copier an IP address uh, in order to get on your network. Then you need to know your computer name, your computer's name and password. And uh, so what I like to do is I like to create my own user, uh, a new user for it. And I'll explain more why I like to do that uh, down in, when we get more into the video. So, okay, let's get started. First thing we need to do is we need to open up our file explorer. Actually, before we open up our file explorer, I'm gonna go into control panel. So we let's come over here and type in con. You can spell the whole word. If uh, usually a con, it opens up the control panel, but if it doesn't, just spell the whole word doesn't matter but anyways we're gonna open up control panel we're gonna go over to user accounts and again we're gonna click on user accounts and we're gonna create a new user now the reason I'm creating a new user and not using um, my my actual computer name here that you see here is because I can't tell you how many times I've been out to customer sites and uh, customers give us, uh, they give they give me their username and password. And I can't tell you how many times I've been out where the customer swears, swears to their life they know what the password is. And uh, when I try to use it, uh, it doesn't work. So I'm sitting there spinning my wheels and I just can't figure out why. And it's because they give me the wrong password. So what I do, I just create a habit of just creating a new user and creating a simple password. That way there, you eliminate the doubt. So uh, if you want, you can use your own username, which would be, you know, uh, for Windows 10 and um, all the newer operating system, you, uh, your username is usually your email. But um, just trust me, if you create a username, I think you, you, you're going to save yourself a... Uh, uh, a lot of time trying to figure out why it doesn't work. So in order to do that, um, the way you do that, I should say, is you click on manage another account. As you can see, I created one for my Konica and also one for QuickBooks. But the way you create a new user, it's real it's real simple. You click here where it says add a new user. And you click here where it says add someone else to this PC. As soon as it's open, it's going to ask you how you want this person to sign in. You actually want to click here where it says, I don't have this person's sign in information. It, it eliminates uh, uh, having you to create a Microsoft account for them and all that. So uh, again, you click on a third uh, option where it says add a user without a Microsoft account. Remember, we're just adding a user just for the sake of the copier, so it doesn't have to be anything special. So um, username, I usually like to call it, uh, I, I usually like to name it after the copier I'm working. In this case, I'm working on a Rico, so I'm just going to call it Rico. You can call it whatever you want, but I, I just think it's either just to say Rico. Uh, we need to give it a password. I always give it 1 through 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You can give whatever password you want. And uh, Windows always has you, um, in case you forget your password, they, they always set up security questions, which I'm telling you, you'll never use, but we do have to set it up because that's the only way we could get past the, the next step. So um, I usually select the first one, it says uh, pet's name. I just make up a name. Um, oops, it didn't click. Okay, there it is. Double click on it. And I just put Waldo. Second security question, I put what city were you born in? Double click on that. And I just, I'm just going to put Santa Ana, which is the location where our store is. Doesn't have to be accurate. And unless you want to, no big deal. It's up to you. Third question is uh, what I'll pick, what name, what's the name of the city where your parents met? Again, I'm just going to put Santa Ana, even though that's not true. 
and hit next just to get past the section. So uh, once you do that, your username is now, I mean, your user is now created. I usually just switch this. I, I click on this and I change account type. I usually switch it to admin just so that there's no hiccups down the line. I'm pretty sure local will work just fine, but you know, it's just a force of habit that I do just to eliminate any doubt. So it's not gonna hurt anything. So click on that and once you do that, uh, you close this window. And so now you created a user. So uh, why didn't it create? Let me see here. Don't know why it didn't show up. Let me do this again. Click here. I have to refresh here. Go back here again. Maybe my computer is not refreshing. Your account, user. There it is. Okay. All right. So now that you have it, that you're, it's confirmed that you have it there. You can close the screen and let's go back to our file explorer. So open this up. So we need to create a shared folder if you don't already have one on your computer created. So uh, I like to create it on uh, straight on the hard drive. It's, it's like the safest place and you know where to find it. So what I do is I go to my C drive, which is usually C drive is your main drive, but you can pick what you can, you can create a folder pretty much anywhere in a computer, but uh, I like to do it on a C drive. So I open up my C drive and I right click here and I create new folder. So I, as you can see here, I got, my scans already set up on my computer, but I'm gonna walk you step by step how to create one. So I'm just gonna create a new one and call it my scans one, or maybe two, doesn't matter. Uh, so call it what you want, but I'm gonna call it my scans two. So once you do that, it's created there. So now we have to share it. So you're gonna right click here. You're now going to select properties. You're gonna select the sharing tab. You're going to click on share. And now we need to, as you can see, the the um, the admin, the main admin of the computers here, the owner. Uh, we're going to find Rico, which is you just click on the drop down here and you select Rico. And now you add it. It's very important that you change this to read and write. If you do not, the copier is not going to be able to write to the folder. So it's very important you do this. So don't skip this step. Click share done now we need to do it again we need to go into properties we got to go to advanced sharing we got to select permissions and as you can see everybody and the owner of the computer is here make sure that these two are selected uh, in other words i'm sorry that all three of these are checked off on the two here so we're going to add rico so we need to add rico so the way you do that you click add and in this box, you're going to type in Rico, which is a user we created, and you're going to hit OK. So now it shows up here as Rico under, this is the name of my computer, by the way. So you select that, and now as you can see, it's not checkmarked, so you don't have full control. You have to give it full control. By putting the checkmark on the first box, it automatically puts it on the second. And all three have to be uh, checked. Don't have to worry about this. Just make sure that this allow is all checked, and you hit apply and OK and then apply again and okay. So now you've created your network path. You need to copy this network path because we're gonna use that in just a second. So you you could right click on it and select copy and you can close this and you can close the screen. So now I need you to open up your uh, Chrome. I'm using Chrome. You can open up Explorer if you like, but Chrome is solid. I recommend everybody use Chrome. You can download it if you don't have it. It's real simple. It's quick to download. It just works flawless with copiers. And sometimes Internet Explorer has some hiccups and it gives me some weird glitches that um, I'm, I'm done with working with Internet Explorer. So I like Chrome. So um, remember how I had you gather your IP address of your copier? Well, this is where you're going to use it. So on your browser here, on your URL section, you're going to type in the IP address of your copier. This happens to be the IP address of my copier. So now you're in the back end of your machine, which is a web interface. Um, so this is this is where you pretty much control the entire machine. So what we need to do is once we're here, we got to log in as admin. So you click on login 
and the, the default username for all Ricos is lowercase admin, A-D-M-I-N, and no password. You leave the password blank, and you click login. Now, for whatever reason, if you can get past that screen and it says failed, well, hate to tell you, you're going to have to contact your Rico service provider, uh, and they're going to have to help you on how to reset the password. Uh, they may be able to do it over the phone, but most likely they're going to have to send out a tech to go into service the service back end of the machine, or actually the service section of the machine and reset that for you. So um, hopefully you can get it. So if you do get in, you're actually in this screen. So you're going to put your cursor over device management and you're going to select address book. Okay, you're going to wait a few seconds for this area to open up. Um, these are the two that I already set up, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk you through adding a new one. So most likely, if you've never done this on your copier before, this is going to be blank. If you're adding a new user, we'll, you just leave these alone. So we're going to add a new user. So this one's going to be a folder destination because we're doing a scan to a shared folder. So you're going to put a check mark here. Most Rico copiers, for whatever reason, I can't figure it out. It's they have this section cut off in half. It's just I think it's just a software compatibility with. Oh, as a uh, internet browser, I, I it's almost all the copiers that I that I work with. Uh, this happens to almost all the copiers I work with, and most likely it's going to happen to you. So, the way uh, I have people spend hours trying to figure out how they can how can fix this, but it's so simple. Just put your cursor under this black line that you see here. You put it here, and then you scroll down, and it opens it up. So go to next. The name is required, so you can put your your name, the you know your computer name or your name, or let's say if it's a front office, you'll put front office or front desk or reception, whatever you like. So I'm just gonna call it test, okay. And then uh, the key display is what you want it to say on the copier when you walk to the copier and you select the scan button. It, you select where you want it to scan. So if you put front office, you would uh, you'll see the word front office. But in order to see the word front office, you have to type it in here. So I usually like to keep it the same as the name above. So I just put a test. And again, when I walk up to the copier and I select scan, uh, the icon test is going to be there, so I know it's coming to my computer. So uh, next step is to make sure this is on. Most of the time it's selected on by default, but every now and then you'll see your copier that's off. Make sure you have that selected to on. This is your add to frequent, which is kind of like the shortcut. When you when you walk up when you walk up to your copier, you hit your scan button. It's going to be on the front page, so you don't have to scroll for it, uh, find it alphabetically. So again, it's great. Uh, this is cut off in half, so put your cursor under the line, scroll down, go to next. This is where you put your network path. Uh, so uh, remember how I had you copy, uh, highlight the whole network path to the folder? Well, you're now going to click on paste, and that's your network path. Okay. If you need to do it again, you just uh, find the folder. We created the folder on the C drive. This is the folder I created in my scans too. You right click on it, go to properties. Go to sharing, and there it is, if you need to do it again. So just hit copy, close, hit OK, close this, and you hit paste, just like that. Okay, now login. This is where you will type in the new name, uh, the Rico. Okay, and then you type in 12345678, which is the password that I gave. You do it twice. That's the password I gave the Rico user. So again, put your cursor under the line, scroll down, hit hit next and um, this is where you just confirm if all the information is right which is basically this is you just confirm that's correct put your cursor on the line hit OK and you're done so um, you've now set up your scan or share folder now there's one thing you definitely need to check and um, I've had a lot of customers spend hours and hours you know, ripping their hair off, uh, pulling their hair off, trying to figure out why uh, it's just not scanning to a share folder. You need to make sure that your discovery, your share discovery is turned on. The way you do that is you come over here, your taskbar area, 
and your network, and this, this computer is hardwired, so when you have your computer hardwired, you kind of see the symbol. When it's not, then you kind of see, when it's uh, wireless, then you, you'll see the symbol. But regardless, you just click on it, and you go to the network and internet settings. Here, you go to your sharing options. So you click on sharing. I like to close all these, so now you have all three. You have your private, you have your guests and public, and all network. Go one by one. You 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 click on this down arrow, and you have to make sure that you're that you turn on your network discovery, and also put a check mark here. Turn on automatic setup for network connection devices. Just keep that checked. Uh, also make sure that you turn on your file and print sharing. Otherwise, your copier is not going to be able to find the folder you created. Then you go to the next tab, which is guest and public, you do the same to this, you turn on network discovery and you turn on file and printer sharing. And lastly, you go to the third one, which is all networks. Again, you turn on your sharing. So everyone with network access can act uh, can read and write, which is in this case, the copier, you just gave the copier read and write permission. So you keep this on. And uh, by default, it's going to be at 128 bit. Um, doesn't matter, you can put whatever you want, but usually it's 128. And then uh, you could either turn this on, or I, I usually keep it off to turn off power, uh, password protection sharing. You don't need it. I mean, it's, if you turn it on, uh, you might have some you know, issues uh, scanning to your folder. So just keep it off. So if it's on and you turn it off, then it's, uh, this would, would highlight, but since I'm not making any changes, it's going to gray out. So I'm just going to hit cancel. And that's pretty much all you need to do. So you're pretty much all set, ready to scan to your shared folder. Um, one last step, I know I said that earlier, but uh, let's go back to your, your folder that we created. And I'm going to show you a shortcut, a way to set up a shortcut to your desktop so you don't always have to open up your file explorer, or go to your C drive. So let's find the folder we created. We're going to, here it is, we're going to right click on it and we're going to put send to desktop, create shortcut. So now when you open up your desktop, it's right there. Okay, I did it twice by accident. Let me go ahead and delete this. So it's right there. So anytime you scan to from your, from your copier to your computer, you could simply just find it on your desktop. You could also find it if you open up Explorer and you go to the very top and you go to desktop. You also find it right where the uh, shortcut right there. Or it's actually this one. This is my this is my first one. But you'll open up here. It's empty right now because we haven't scanned anything. So just walk up to your copier, select the scanner button, uh, and uh, select your the folder you created. You'll see it on your frequent uh, your shortcut list. And hit scan, and you'll show your PDF file here. So good luck, guys. Any questions? Um, let us know if we can help. Thanks.